asymmetric authentication using ECDSA. ECDSA stands for Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. ECDSA is a two-phased process. Phase one is verify the client's public key. Phase two is to verify the client's private key. If both phases pass, then the client is considered real. ECDSA is a sign verify procedure and that name describes what it does, which is signing a message by a trusted signer and then using that signature to verify the integrity of the message and the identity of the sender. The E and C in ECDSA refer to elliptic curve cryptography or ECC, which is a modern and very strong encryption algorithm. The highly sophisticated mathematics behind ECC means that ECC does not require a long key like older standards such as RSA, for example. The shorter key length helps make ECC about 10 times faster than RSA at present. Phase one of the ECDSA process starts with the certificate stored in the client. The host requests and gets the certificate from the client. Once the host receives the certificate, it unpacks the certificate into the certificate data, the signature, and the client's public key. It then digests the certificate data by running it through a hash function to create a 32-byte digest in accordance with X.509 procedures ECDSA is then run in the host to verify the client's public key using three inputs. The OEM's public key that is stored in the host, the digest of the certificate data, and the signature that was sent over with the certificate. Once the ECDSA process is run, we can go to phase two. If, however, it is run and the client is not verified, the process stops here. Phase two is to verify the client's private key. The host sends the random challenge to the client to create the signature the client uses, the client's private key, and runs the signature engine. The ECDSA signature engine, of course, uses the ECC algorithm. The new signature is sent to the host and used as an input to run the ECDSA verify calculation using that signature, the client's public key that was verified in phase one, and the very same random challenge that was used to create the signature in the client. If it passes, then the client is considered as real. And that is how asymmetric authentication with ECDSA is run using the Atmel ATECC 108 device.